Hey guys, this is Magamu, and today I'm checking out the Anaros Warframe. Anaros is a mummy Egyptian themed Warframe where he's part crowd control and part battle healer, and he's really interesting because he's actually all health and no shield, so with a max vitality and still fiber mod, this Warframe actually has over 4000 health and 420 armor, bruh. And that really works out with all that health because all of his abilities will heal him, even his passive abilities where a triggered stealth finisher, that's going to give you more health. And even during bleed out, you can actually self revive by just pointing the reticle to enemies. This makes Imnotep a really cool mechanical warframe or Anaros or Imnotep, whatever, it's the same thing. His first ability, Desiccation, is a conal AoE. It'll actually stun enemies over time and it actually has a really great range. You can lock down a large area with this and you get the added benefit of being healed over time by affected enemies and you also get prompted melee finishers that will return health to the warframe really good. Desiccation is affected by range mods, strength mods will actually give you more health back and duration will affect the stun time. Devourer will eat enemies and trust me it's not a pretty sight. What you want to do is hold a button down that'll draw enemies in, auto eat them, num num num, you're gonna get health from that. Or you could tap the button once and save that enemy for a snack later or maybe your teammate could eat it for health. Now the healing is slow but it's actually very useful and a fully devoured enemy will actually become a sand shadow and they'll fight for you. Devouring may take a lot more time on heavier enemies really hurting the way that it scales and if you try to eat an Eximus you might not like the result it actually disappears but overall once those two things are fixed this is actually a pretty decent ability. Pool distance is affected by range mods, duration affects the time that they're stuck in one place, and power strength affects the damage and the amount of healing. Sandstorm is basically press 3 to meme. I mean, you guys don't really care that it's really great crowd control. You guys don't care that undevoured enemies will actually return health and transform into sand enemies. Nope. All you guys want is to hear the song. I'm going to play the song now. Here we go. Psych? Okay, whatever, here you go. Scarab Swarm has two uses. You can either hold the button down, charge it up, losing health but gaining armor in return. You might want to heal up after that, but you do get to keep the armor all mission. Or you can cast the fourth ability on an enemy. It's going to take a fourth of your armor and it's going to stun lock that enemy into place, healing you and your team within range. And even more important, this is going to spread to more enemies. So this might seem mediocre at first until you get into a really high level mission where you're locking down a lot of enemies. And trust me, Scarab Swarm becomes a really useful ability. Freezing enemies and healing your team, it's really powerful. Now as far as mods, I really wanted to go more into range and duration. I feel like power strength doesn't really scale as well as the other two. So let's add corrosive projection or energy siphon, whatever you want in the dash polarity. And handspring in the X list slot, this Warframe is at its best when he's in the middle of the fight. So you definitely want to get your knockdown recovery there. Now let's go straight into as much range as possible, overextended and stretch. Now this is going to give you a lot of crowd control in your first ability desiccation. It is really good. You can lock down a large area, but also on an ability that depends on power strength, like his fourth ability Scarab Swarm. This is actually better because if you've got more enemies healing at a further range, you're actually getting all of that health back. And I feel like it scales a little bit better than just adding power strength. So definitely range over power strength here. Now let's actually go back and add a little bit of duration. That's actually going to help steel fiber and vitality because he has so much health and armor. And let's actually add the rage mod because we've got so much health and armor. We're actually going to get energy back. We don't need anything like feeding expertise. Now streamline is not really needed. I would definitely add prime flow to, to complement the rage, but streamline is not needed. If you want to go back and add some power strength, you can actually do that. But overall, I just felt like streamline has been helping me a little bit, but this mod slot can actually go wherever you want. Now, if you don't like this build, and you're actually going through missions where there are not a lot of enemies and you're not really getting the benefit of the ranged heals, you can actually back off the overextended 
and actually add an intensify and maybe a transient fortitude in here that actually be okay but overall i think what you want is more range in end game because you're going to be able to heal your team at a nice range is actually going to work out i definitely think you should go with more of a range build Overall, I think this Warframe is really good. He does have scaling issues with devouring enemies or self-reviving. Both of those actions can be very slow versus some of your very high level enemies. I think this can be fixed. But otherwise, I think it's actually been really fun having another tanky healer in game, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. No more puns for this video. I am done. Done, done, done. Done, 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 done,